Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Quillsoft Presents in WordQ. I'm very excited to be presenting using SpeakQ technology in WordQ. Just a little bit of an update for you in terms of the SpeakQ plugin, which once was. In version five of WordQ, which you're looking at now, you'll notice that the mic button is already there. So you do not have to purchase the SpeakQ plugin on the PC Windows side for WordQ. It automatically comes with the program. You can use the on-demand speech to text that it provides, or you can choose not to. But regardless, it is part of the program now. Unfortunately, on the Mac side, you'll only see four icons. The mic button will not be located on the Mac side. Uh, there are many other reasons which we'll get into in another video, uh, but there are other alternatives that you can use on the Mac side for on-demand speech to text. So let's take a look at setting up our profile. In tip number one, we'll let Heather read out to us what that tip might be. The first time you click the mic icon, you will be directed to set up the speech properties to use speech to text. SpeakQ requires that you set up a new profile by clicking the new button on the next screen that you're about to see. So the instructions are to click the mic button, click the speech properties, click new and name it. So let's take you through that. I'm just gonna move my toolbar over so that you can see all sections of the screen. So it says click mic, click the speech properties. You'll only have to do this the first time that you set it up. After that, the mic button will automatically be active when you open WordQ. Now, this screen is very important because it's our speech recognition option screen. Basically, it says to click new. So here's our chance to name our new profile. In the new profile name, I'm just going to call it SpeakQ and I'm going to say OK. Now, I want you to notice what just happened. You'll notice that the microphone setup wizard has popped up its screen. What this is going to do is allow you to check to make sure that your microphone is working in the Windows system, which will then allow SpeakQ to take advantage of that situation. Microsoft allows us in to work with the speech engine that's in the operating system so that the programs work seamlessly together. So SpeakQ connects Windows so that the program can make sense of what you say and write it out for you. And here are the instructions. Pick the type of headset. Now, in this case, it says headset microphone, and that's usually what the students will have. I, in this case, have a desktop microphone. So I'm going to click that and say next. Then it allows me to place it far enough away from my mouth that it will pick me up clearly. So once I have that, I can click next. And on this screen, you'll notice a green flashing bar across the bottom. That's actually picking up my voice as I speak. To assist that process, we can ask students if they're able to, to read that phrase that's there. So Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. You'll notice all the P's there to help the program be able to be picked up. If the student cannot read that, no fretting and no worry and no frustration because they can just talk as I am doing right now until the next button has the blue line around it then you can click next. And now you are all set up and ready to go. So you can click finish. Once you click finish on the previous screen, you get an opportunity to check the mic. First and foremost, do you have the correct mic selected? In this case, yes, I have my microphone snow snowball in front of me. And I can tell that it's working because the blue line, every time I speak is actually increasing in its length. So it is picking me up quite well. So at this point, I can close the speech recognition window by saying, okay. Now we get an opportunity to actually try it out. And this is the way that I would try it with most students. So let's read the tip because in this case, the tip is very helpful. And remember this document that I'm using is readily available for you to download from our website to have open and to use while you are watching the video. So in this click case, I can click read. Use multi-syllable words to see how well speak picks up your voice. Remember to turn on your word prediction and speech feedback buttons. So you get an opportunity to see that. Now you'll notice that speak you, and I'm just going to throw in a side in here. And I think that this will be helpful. It's reading speak you as speak. So there is a way to actually change the pronunciation of words. Under options, you can go to where it says speech feedback. In speech feedback, you can click on pronunciations and new. 
in this window, this is what it looks like on the screen. And this is what it sounds like. Speak. In this case, I wanted to say speak you. So phonetically, I can go ahead and type it with the space between the words and then click listen. Speak Q. And now when I say OK and OK again, let's listen to that sentence. Use multisyllable words to see how well Speak Q picks up your voice. Remember to turn on your word prediction and speech feedback buttons. Great. So we were able to tackle two birds there with one stone, uh, being able to show you how to change the pronunciation of things as well. Speak Q, speak in select mode, provides an opportunity to hear what the program thinks you might have said. So it says to turn the mic on and say the word hallucination and turn the prediction box on. So there's my prediction box turned on. And here's my speech turned on so I can hear it. And now my mic. Let's try that word hallucination. Click. Hallucination. Hallucinations. It showed up in the box, which is great. It's there. If it did, then I can select it. Hallucination. I can hear it. I can see it. I can click hallucination. It. So it's there. By doing what I just did in selecting that word, I'm actually training the program to recognize that when I say certain sounds to make words and I pick that word that is most accurate, that's what it's going to remember the next time I say those sounds. So that's one way of being able to train it on the run. Now, try some other words. Well, let's try prevalence and let's try governments. So here we go. Prevalence. 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 Governments. 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 As you saw from the previous screen, sometimes students are going to be able to have a voice that the program picks up quite well. There are some little niche areas in elementary school voices or even in adult voices where Speak You has a difficult time picking up the accuracy of the voice. And so you will not be as successful as what you saw me do earlier on the screen, but there is a way to be able to train it. So let's hear this hint because this hint is something that I think everybody needs to hear. Relax. This is not like Dragon. No need to worry. Just listen and repeat. Right. So some of the other programs that are out there cause you to have uh, an opportunity where you need to be able to read the words, which causes a lot of frustration for our students who struggle with reading and writing. And so because of those struggles, they have a very difficult time uh, training the program to be able to pick up their voice. We do that a little bit differently. So let's take a look at what the instructions are before we open up the screen. Speak you provides a simple to use trainer to help it become more accurate in reflecting what you say. So the instructions read as follows. Click on the options menu, then click train speech and select introduction to speech recognition. All right, let's try that. So options, train speech, you get a brand new window with another window that pops up in front of it. WordQ already provides you and speak you already provides you with text that's already ready for you to train on. So each level has its own set. I'm gonna click on the intermediate level and go down to one that's called Introduction to Speech Recognition. This one actually begins to teach students how to master the skill of speech to text. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to say open. Now, before we go back to the trainer, let's look at what some of the instructions say. Tip, this one's an important one as well. Red means stop, green means go. So we'll remember that when we reopen back up the train speech window. Speak you trainer guides through a five minute max session where all you do is repeat what you hear in your headset. So we're gonna click the train button. We're gonna listen. We're gonna wait for the green box, repeat what we see and hear and follow along until we're finished or until we get tired. The nice thing about our trainer is that you don't have to finish a full five minute session in one sitting. So let's try it again. Options, train speech, select introduction to speech recognition and open it. And there we go. So it's reopened in our screen. There's the red hand that's gonna turn to a green box when we're ready to repeat. Train button is on your left. On your right hand side at the top, we'll tell you if your microphone is being picked up and down at the bottom, you will see a blue line that will give you the progress. So let's try it. 
Introduction to Speech Recognition. Introduction to Speech Recognition. Please repeat what the computer says. Please repeat what the computer says. What the computer says. I'm going to pause there for a moment because I want you to see the progress in the bottom left. You will have noticed the microphone turning blue on the right. And even if you forget what to say, don't worry about it. You get another chance to say the words that WordQ or SpeakQ's trainer did not hear you say. And remember, we all say words differently. So even if you have a form of a speech impediment, or sometimes you have difficulty getting those words out, just say it like you normally would, because that's what we want speak you to be able to understand. So let's continue. Speak clearly in your normal voice. Speak clearly in your normal voice. Do not talk too fast. Do not talk too fast. Or too slowly. Or too slowly. So you're learning how to do speech to text along the way. It is a skill, which you will get really good at the more that you give it practice. So as I said before, I can stop now and I'll be about 20 seconds better and more accurate than I was prior to doing this speech training session. So I'm gonna click the X at the top right hand corner. You'll notice that it updated my speak you and now I'm ready to move on. So that was awesome in terms of being able to see how the speak you trainer works try it with some of your students especially those who might have difficulty just typing all the time let them use a mixture of the typing with the on-demand speech to text so they can pick and choose one or the other or a combination of both to be able to get their thoughts out onto the screen remember we are not a productivity tool so we do not recommend that you use it in a continuous mode We'd rather you use the speak and select mode so that the student is in control of their own writing. Remember to use WordQ's accessibility hotkeys to turn functions on and off while you're using it. So for instance, word prediction can be turned on and off by pressing F9. Speech to text on the PC only, the microphone turns on and off using F8. And the speech itself to be able to hear the words that you're cursing over, the on and off will be F10. Thanks again and have yourselves a great day.